Welcome to City Girl, my name's Rob Bohr. In this episode, I'm gonna do something, you know, I'm not a big fan of hot dogs at all, but as long as it's a kosher hot dog like a Nathan's, um, I, can, I can stomach it, right? And uh, I like it skinless as well. So I thought of how else can I make these hot dogs taste better, right? Sure, you can do a chili dog, you can put a cheese dog, and I do like slaw on my hot dog, but then I thought, why not season it up? So I have some blackening seasoning. There's, there's lots of different brands out there. You pick whichever one you like the most. And what you do is you just, you know, sprinkle it on the dog, you know, do this over a plate. And, and you wanna coat it really good, best you can. Make sure the dog's a little bit moist. Just like that. I might press it down a little bit, like so. Roll it around in there. If you have a thicker dog, um, Go ahead and slice it to butterfly it. That makes it even better. I've tried that with a, a larger, you know, a fat hot dog. Uh, these are a bit skinny, but I'll, I'll just cook them on the grill just like this, blacken them up, all right? So let me go light the grill. All right, I'm out on the grill. I've got it on a high heat. Let me open it up. I've got these three burners on. There's probably a little overkill for the, just these two hot dogs. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just place them right over this heat, just like so. I'm gonna watch them, but you know, cook them for, I don't know, three minutes and then I'm gonna start rotating them while they're in there because I want it to get basically blackened just like you would a blackened fish in a skillet something like that so uh, you know let these cook I'm gonna put the lid down see what they look like All right, it's been about three minutes let's take a look at these dogs yes they're looking actually pretty good they're starting to brown up they're, they're blacking up a little bit so I'm just gonna rotate them around here on this heat just like so again pick whichever uh, blacking season you like the most uh, you know, I gotta move them around just because I know there's certain spots on this grill that gets hotter than others. So I'm just gonna move it just like that. And I'm gonna cook it. Maybe I'm just gonna watch it. You know, they're getting plump. I can see the juice on them. Uh, so they're looking good. Uh, maybe a couple more minutes. All right, it's been another three, four minutes. And I've opened this up a few times, checking the hot dogs. They look really good. They're starting to really blacken up. And you know, I don't mind mine really burnt. So, and I know get a, I get people do like their hot dogs burnt pretty good, but not me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them out, take them out and uh, stick them in this bun I have right here. I'm just gonna double hot dog this bun. Um, just like so, I know they might fall out, that's okay. Uh, let's put it in here. Let's try to get it in here. We'll just drop on the floor. And what I really like on these, actually maybe I'll just take it out and eat it later. Uh, but what I really like is uh, coleslaw on these hot dogs, just because the coleslaw is that uh, creamy, uh, sweet kind of flavor, and the hot dog has um, the spiciness, and that's it, just a nice little slaw dog with a blackening seasoning on it. Let's kind of make this up here. I'll try not to spill it all over the floor. Take a bite. Mm, 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 mm. What a great way to kick up a hot dog. Blackening seasoning on the dog. Makes a mess, but it's good. I'd highly recommend this. Great for tailgating or just for having fun. Dress up that dog with blackening seasoning. 